Hello, everybody. Listen, we're trying to do a show and you're chatting. It's unbelievable. It's been like this all week. Welcome to the final of this week's House of Games. What a treat it has been. You're a couple of days away from breaking your New Year's resolutions. We have four players here who are five rounds away from winning this trophy right here. Any one of them can win. The weekly leaderboard is quite something. Our players this week have been, and still are, Harry Judd. Bemasola Icamello, Hugh Dennis, and Kerry Godleman. Hi, everyone. Hi. Hello. Welcome to the final. What a lovely week we've had. Shall we, before we do anything else, look at the weekly leaderboard? Yes. OK, oh, it is our double points final. Today, there are eight points for a win, six for second, four for third. And look at that. Hugh up the top there. Uh, Bemi. You've yet to win this week, but you've had so many second places. You're in second place on the leaderboard, as is Harry. And Kerry, just three points behind as well. Eight points for a win. Who's going to win? My money's on Hugh. But having said that, Bemi, I think you're in for a win as well. You're today. just saying that because I haven't won. You're just like, well, <laughs> I guess. Well, you. But you've been strong. You've been strong. I'm surprised. And if you do win, you're going to win the trophy as well. Ooh. So there you have and it. And I get a... A prize as yeah. well. If oh, you win, great. you win the trophy. If Hugh wins, he wins the trophy. If Harry wins, he wins the trophy. Kerry, if you win, very good chance of winning the trophy as well. <laughs> it's not a, I just said it's not, a absolutely, <laughs> not absolutely as certain. That's fine. I will say that. Um, not just the trophy, there are also prizes up for grabs. Today's prizes look like this. There oh. is. A dog. Do I get a dog? The wheelie luggage. There is the cushion, some sparkling wine, party hats, and a doggy jumper. Ah. Oh. Oh. Ellie is the name of the dog. Does that only fit one size of dog? Yeah, I think because you've got a Labrador, right? Yeah. I th we could probably get it in a XXL. Oh, well, someone, like someone just great... said. Someone said we can do sizes. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> Listen, it's been a brilliant week. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've uh, had a fun week post Christmas and pre New Year. Thank you all so much for playing. Shall we do it one more time? See who's going to win our trophy. Yeah. yeah. Our first round today is. Sounds like. Now, fingers on buzzers. Your category, your first category at least, is European cities. I'm going to show you some pictures. If you tell me what you see in those pictures, it will give you the name of a European city. OK, so what do these pictures sound like? Yes, Kerry. Oslo. Oslo. It is. Oz, there the world was, and Rob Lowe, Oslo. Uh, next pictures. Hugh. Stockholm. Oh, I was thinking Gravy House. <laughs> I was thinking <laughs> Gravy House. Gravy, gravy Cottage. <laughs> gravy Cottage. <laughs> Stockholm, nicely played. It's all in Scandinavia at the moment. Yeah, isn't it just? It's very Scandinavian heavy. Let's see, let's see what's next. So it better not be Copenhagen. Kerry. Can. Can, absolutely. <laughs> well done. Your next category is famous ships. OK, which famous ships are these? Yes, Harry. Uh, no, May Mayflower. Mayflower? Mayflower? It is Mayflower, Brian May. Uh, and some flour. I don't need to explain what's in some of the pictures. Yes. Um, next famous ship. Yes, that is Kerry. Mary Rose? <laughs> no. It is Mary Rose. Oh, yes. Well done. Nicely played. Next famous ship. Yes, Kerry. Beagle? The Beagle is absolutely <laughs> right. Well done. Charles Darwin right. ship. B Be and Gull Beagle. New category is playwrights' surnames. But which playwrights? Yes, you. Shakespeare. And we're all thinking, we know one playwright. Yeah, he's yeah. gone. <laughs> he <laughs> it's Shakespeare. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, some milkshakes and a peer. Shakespeare. Next one. Yes, that is Bemi. Check off. Check off, absolutely. <laughs> Check and a cough. Final one. Yes, 
Yes, you. O'Neill. Very good. Eugene O'Neill, Sandra Oak, Neil Morrissey, O'Neill. Yes. The round mm. ends there. Let's take a look at our first leaderboard of this final of this festive House of Games. It looks like this. Harry and Bemisola have one point each. Hugh, you've got three. Yesterday's winner, Kerry, has got four. <laughs> in the lead. How about oh, that? Bro. Four. <laughs> I'll mess it up now. <laughs> Just four rounds to go. Four rounds until we give away that trophy. Maybe even meet the dog. I don't know. Our next round, our final pairs game of the week is... You complete me. Harry, why don't you choose your partner today? I think I'll go with uh, Kerry. You're going to go with Kerry. Yeah. So, Hugh and Harry, why don't you swap places, please? Is this the first time we've had this team? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah we left you on a roll. Last. Hugh and Bemi, you are a team. Harry and Kerry, you are a team. Now, in this round, fingers on buzzers, everyone. I will ask you a question. Every single answer has two words in it. If you buzz in, you must give me the first word of the answer. Your partner must then complete the answer for a point. Your first question is this. Located in the Highlands, what is the name of Scotland's largest body of fresh water by volume? Yes, Harry. Lock. Lock is correct. Kerry for the points. Ness. Ness is correct. Well done. Kerry Lock, I know. Absolutely. I know. Well played. Next question. Which Doctor Who actor's costume included a cricket sweater and a stick of celery on the lapel of his jacket? Yes, Harry. David. Is incorrect, oh. I'm afraid. Anyone on the other team? Yes, you. Davidson. It's incorrect, I'm afraid. That's, that's, that's the second word of the answer. Peter Davison was yeah. the answer. Uh, next one. Who is this? Yes, Harry. Emma. Emma, correct. Carry for the points. I know it isn't, but I'm going to say Stone. But I know it isn't Emma Stone. Stone? Incorrect. Anyone on this team at Fancy Go? Emma. I mean, I'll, oh, just, I'll just say something. Emma Peters. <laughs> <laughs> wow, if this is Emma Peters. Is it Emma Peters? Mm. Oh, I can't believe it's not. Who is it? Emma Roberts. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Well. well done if you got that at home. Um, next one. Fingers on buzzers, please. What's the first word of this answer? In Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace, which baddie wields a double-bladed lightsaber? Yes, Kerry. Darth. Darth is correct, Harry. Darth Maul. Maul? Well played. Didn't fall into the trap. <laughs> Did not fall into Vader's trap. Well no. done. Next one. The Wasp Factory and the Crow Road are novels by which British writer? Yes, Kerry. Ian? Ian is correct. Harry? Fleming? Fleming? No, oh, sorry. Incorrect. Hugh? Banks. Banks? Very nicely done. It is Ian Banks. Uh, next one. What is the title, please, of this song? First word only. I've been trying to call. Yes, Harry. Blinding. Correct, Kerry. Lights. Yeah, blinding lights. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> very well done by the I weekend. I think you just think, what is blinding? Yeah. What can be what blinding? Can be blinding? Yeah. Blinding. Yeah. It's the most played record on radio of the century. What? Uh, blinding lights, yeah, of the century. Final question in this round. What's the first word of this answer, please? Which British actor co-starred with Chris Hemsworth in the film In the Heart of the Sea and made his MCU debut the following year? Yes, Harry. Will. Will is incorrect, I'm afraid. No. God, you look so confident. I thought it is. But it was. Nobody. It's I've got no idea, okay. so I wouldn't have helped you. <laughs> Let's take a look. Tom Holland, we were looking for. Tom Holland. That's the end of that round. Uh, Hugh and Harry, if you'll swap back seats, please. Lovely to see you, Hugh. Yeah, thanks very much. <laughs> Harry. <laughs> Nothing, sorry. <laughs> Lovely to see you. <laughs> the leaderboard now looks like this. Bemi has two points. Hugh and Harry have four points each. Kerry 
Bigger lead now, seven points. It's getting weird now, isn't it? It's getting weird, It's yeah. getting weird. Mm. Heavy is the head that wears the crown, Kerry, that's for sure. <laughs> it's a stressful time. Three rounds to go. Our next round is... Well done if you said that at home, the round that you at home help us with. Uh, today, we sent our viewers the names of some classic films and they had to send us back three words they associated with that film. You're now going to see a word cloud of the words that they mentioned, starting with the most obscure ones, getting more and more obvious. So, which classic film are our viewers describing here? Fingers on buzzers, everybody. Thank you, everyone at home. So, these first clues are often uh, throw you off the scent. But they get more and more obvious as we go on. Love, poignant, guitar, crypt, concert, puppets, musical, goats. <laughs> yes, okay, Bemmy. Sound of music. Sound of music. Oh. Mm -hmm. I, when, it, when it says goat herd, you're thinking, <laughs> what film could this be? <laughs> Absolutely, the sound of music. <laughs> Nuns and hills, the, uh, the big words there. Next one. Which film is this, please? Funny, funny parasol. Class, London. Songs, wager. Dancing, yes, you. Billy Elliot. Is it Billy Simply Elliot? Not. It's not yeah. Billy Elliot, I'm afraid. London Market. Transformation, yes, Kerry. My Fair Lady. My Fair Lady? Yes. It is My Fair Lady, a lovely Cockney professor. Um, next classic film. Dirt. Classic Spoon. Absolute classic Spoon. Hugh's gone. Great Escape. The Great Escape? Oh, well played. What an early buzz. Terrific stuff. Great Escape. Motorbike and Tunnel there. Your next classic film is this. Emotional and British. China Shorts, Cambridge, Kerry. Chariots of Fire. Chariots of Fire, that's an early buzz. Well played, look at that. Vangelis running oh, Olympic yeah, speech. Next one. Which film is this, please? Florida. Heat singer, romance, woman, temperature, Harry. Bodyguard. The Bodyguard? It's not, I'm afraid. Let's see some more words. Escape Chicago. Jazz Prohibition, Bemmy. Ah. Oh. Uh, gu guys and Dolls. Guys and Dolls? It's not, I'm afraid. Let's see some more words. Ooh, oh, Hugh is in. Some like it hot. Some like it hot. It is what it is. Well done. Disguised blonde musicians. Some like it hot. Final question in this round. Which classic movie is this, please? Carriage and a Lullaby. Okay, Cockney. Sing it. Whoa, Harry's gone early. Because I need to, they're good. Mary Poppins. Mary Poppins? Oh, it's not a bad guess, but no. Let's see some more. Magical old. Terrifying. Yes, Bemmy. Um. Ch chitty Chitty Bang Bang? Chitty Chitty Bang Bang? It yeah. is Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. It's terrifying. <laughs> uh, it's, a, it's a big clue for that, isn't it? Well played, Bemmy. It's the end of the round. Two rounds to go now before we give away our trophy. Still no nearer working out who it's going to go to because this is how the leaderboard looks. Harry and Bemisola, you have four points each. Hugh, you got six. Kerry, you got nine. <laughs> Kerry, don't forget, was at the bottom of that weekly leaderboard. This is going to go right down to the wire. Two rounds to go. Our next round is... And the answer isn't Harry. I will start with you. I'll give you a question. Four answers. One is correct. The other three answers are written by Bemmy, Hugh and Kerry before the show to try and fool you. Mm -hmm. They are all professional comedians of one type or another, just to warn you. Just to warn you. Your question is this. What did a traditional English Yuletide game of Snapdragon involve during the Victorian era? So a correct answer and three answers that are sent to fool you. Finding your partner by smelling their breath. Being chased by a child with a nutcracker. 
eating burning raisins from a bowl of brandy or lightly burning the index finger with hot coals. Don't try any of those at home, please. <laughs> so one of those is real and will score you a point. The other three will win a point for one of your opponents. Surely only one of those can be right. Only one of them is right? Yes. No, I think oh, I know. I see what you mean. I think what I'm I saying see, I see is what you mean. reading, logically speaking, yeah. it must be the fourth. You think? Well... Why must it be? Well, it's okay. Victorian, Coles, I, th you know, I mean, that is quite dangerous. Finding your partner by smelling their breath, that feels like Kerry. Because um, <laughs> she's funny. Wow. Because she's funny. <laughs> That's what I mean. I feel like okay. she would have... No, yeah. no, no. And it's just, it just seems yeah. more logically right. Yeah, because yeah, she's it's funny. And as we know, you and Bemi are not. Yes, yeah. carry on. Yeah, yeah. No, they're both very funny, but I, I feel like also eating burning raisins from a bowl of brandy would be Hugh. Yeah. <laughs> and it's quite it's obscure. You know. And you yeah. should see the inside of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> um, having said that, hot coals, really, are you going to be playing something that's potentially going to be burning your fingers or you're going to be being chased by a child with a nutcracker. Yeah, that's it's, the question you're being set, unfortunately. It's Christmas, you use a nutcracker, but maybe that's what made them think that. You're chased by... A, I mean, a nutcracker snaps, doesn't it, I guess? I think we might have broken Harry. <laughs> I think we finally done it. It started so well on Monday. It started it. Yeah, so yeah. well and I'm, I'm panicking here. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go with... Being chased by a child with a nutcracker. You're going to go chased, yeah, by, a chased by a child with, with a, a nutcracker. nutcracker. What do you think at home on this one? What would you go for for Snapdragon? Has Harry just scored a point or has he given a point away to one of his opponents at a very important time? Is the answer being chased by a child with a nutcracker? It is not. It's a good fake. The real answer was eating burning raisins from a bowl of brandy. Wow. So, Harry, not only do you not get a point, you've given a point away. Who wrote being chased by a child with a nutcracker? Hugh Dennis, as I live and breathe. Mm. <laughs> it's like snap, right? Yeah, it's snap. Like a snap noise. Christmas. All the things. You got you me. Yeah. <laughs> he got me. You got, Can yeah. I just say, yeah. he would have gone with lightly burning the index finger with hot coals and you hadn't... Put, asked him more questions. Mm -hmm. He was ready. He went, it's the only logical. Yes. So I feel like can I should I, get something. Can, yes. can, I, yeah. can I guess who wrote lightly burning the index <laughs> finger with hot coals? I'm just saying. Coals? I mean, I don't know, but. Was it Bemisola? Oh, it was, yeah. <laughs> and uh, finding a partner of right, right. That was right. That was <laughs> Kerry. Kerry. <laughs> got you there. Laser light. Feasible. Yeah. Um, Bemi, I have a question for you with four possible answers. Mm -hmm. You could score a point or give a point away. In the 1860s, what name did confectioner Tom Smith first use for a novelty he devised, nowadays known as Christmas crackers? Was it Bangs of Expectation, a Yule Banger, Sweet Surprise, or Smith's Snapping Yuletide Novelties? Uh, I don't think it was Bangs of Expectation. It just feels... That oh. feels... Dot com. That feels like a comedy writer. <laughs> um, uh, Yule banger. I don't know, the whole bang thing. Uh, sweet surprise feels a bit meh. Smith snapping Yuletide novelty sounds like something that would be in a 1860s movie. Yes. And yeah. that's why I think it's wrong. <laughs> Okay. Because someone's gone. <laughs> I love I love watching people's hearts break just because I'm trying to, I try and work out who's, <laughs> if people have written them or if they're real. I should be looking as I say these. Yeah. I? I, honestly, it's my snapping your died novelties. What should we I go think with? It, I think it's that. That's yep. what I think. But I. I, I uh, okay, we're going with Smith's snapping Yuletide novelties. What do you think at home? Do you agree with Bemi? Has she scored a point or given a point away? <laughs> She's given a point away. The right answer was. Bangs of Expectation was the right answer. So wow. who have you given a point to? Who wrote Smith's Snapping Yuletide Novelties? Yeah. yeah. You, another point. Yeah. yeah. He's good at this I round. I think you're really good at Boulder Dash, aren't you? He is good yeah. at this round. A Yule banger was <laughs> Kerry and Sweet Surprise was Harry. Uh, Hugh Dennis, I have a question for you. It's been a very good round for you so far. But can you uh, work out the fakes as well as you can write them? At the 2015 Kids State Dinner, Barack Obama said he particularly wanted to try which item on the menu, created by nine-year-old Araya Palaez. 
was it? The Pentagon pizza, noodles in barack bean sauce, the Michelle meringue, or baracamole? There's some good fakery going on there. Yeah, well, Pentagon pizza, mm. would he be interested in that? I mean, he's talking to a nine-year-old, so he's clearly going to say... Oh, he's going to... I'd really whatever. love to try that. Your pizza and pizza. Yeah. Uh, noodles and brat bean sauce, blah, 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 But for some reason, that name sounds a bit sort of Spanish. And therefore, I'm going for baracamole. You're going for baracamole. Yeah. He's been very good at this round so far, Hugh. Has he done it again? What do you think at home? What would you go for on this one? Baracamole, have you scored a point or given a point away? <laughs> scored a point, Hugh. How about Thank that? You. Three out of three for Hugh Dennis. Not bad going at all. Kerry, can we break the spell with yeah. yours? <laughs> yeah. Um, I can, yeah. Uh, the, pe the Pentagon pizza was Harry. Noodles in barack bean sauce was Bemisola. And the Michelle meringue was Kerry. Good fakes, everybody. Good fakes. Kerry, here's your question. On the 10th of August 2003, the Russian cosmonaut Yuri Malenchenko became the first person to do what from the International Space Station? I don't like some doing something from it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did he upload a video to YouTube, get married, order a takeaway, or a gender reveal of his unborn baby? Good fakes. Big question, two questions here, really. What's the real one and which one did Hugh write? Those are, yeah. <laughs> those are the two things we really want to find out. Hmm. If it was to? get married, they would both be credited, wouldn't they? There'd be two of them in that I question. Guess. Yeah, yeah, I guess. Unless he got married remotely, but you can't do that, can you? Yeah, I presume not. Surely him and the person he was marrying would both get, yeah. get to be named. If you can order a takeaway, you can upload a video. So they're both like, as in, you had Wi-Fi connection. <laughs> yeah, well done, you had Wi-Fi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And the gender reveal feels like someone wrote it. So I'm going to go with upload a video on YouTube. Upload a video on YouTube. What do you think at home? Has Kerry broken the spell of Hugh? Dennis, is that the correct answer? It's oh. not the co Oh, I would have gone for that. He's going to have got married. Uh, the answer was... Get married. Well, where was the other person that he Get married? Get married. That person's not... A, Why is that person um, not in the name? His wife was in Houston, was in Texas, and you, you can get married in Texas over Zoom, apparently. And so he did. It's quite no. cool. I'm more shocked story. about that than they're getting married from space. Um, she's called Ekaterina. Um, so please tell me you haven't given a point to Hugh. Who wrote Upload a Video to YouTube? Oh, Bemi Sola. <laughs> well done, Bemi. Nicely order done. Order a takeaway. Order a takeaway must have been Hugh. Surely mm. it was. Yeah. I only say that because you said I bet it was, and there's only two left. Yes. And you wrote the other I just, one. I just knew that was. Uh, and gender reveal was mm. Harry. That's the end of that round. One round to go before we give away our trophy. Oh. Let's take a look at how the leaderboard stands. <laughs> Harry, you've got four. Bemi, you've got five. Hugh and Kerry, they're tied on nine each. How about that? One round to go. What a great week it has been. Let's play it for one final time, shall we? Our last round is... Answer smash for one final time. Fingers on buzzers, please. Point for a correct answer, point off for an incorrect answer. We're going to discover who wins our final show. We're going to discover as well who wins that trophy in our double points final. Your first category is... British TV dramas, those will be the pictures. What is the title of Beyonce's first UK number one single as a solo artist? Yes, Harry. Crazy in Love Joy. <laughs> Crazy in Love Joy? Yeah, really good. <laughs> <It is well laughs> done. Crazy in Love and Love Joy. Crazy in Love Joy. Next one. Which annual music festival held in Manchester shares its name with the 1994 UK number one album by Blur? Yes, you. Park Life on Mars. Park Life on Mars. Oh, great. It is. Well done, you. Could be all important. Park Life, Life on Mars. Park Life on Mars. Your next category is Panto Stars. Panto Stars. 
planet Earth is located in which galaxy? We know him. We know where we live. Kerry. Milky Way in sleep. <laughs> is mm. Milky Way in sleep? <laughs> it's brilliant. It is. It Milky is. Way in sleep. Oh, Milky Way yeah. and Way in sleep. Uh, next one. Tom Daly taught celebrities how to dive in which TV series first broadcast in 2013? Yes, Harry. Splashly Banjo. Splashly Banjo? <laughs> It is. Splash and Ashley Banjo. Well, that was finally We've had Milky Way and Sleep and Splashly Banjo so far. <laughs> uh, next clue, next picture. In 2013, Danny Dyer's character Mick Carter became the landlord of which pub in EastEnders? Nobody. From Hello Hello. We're looking for the Queen Vicky Michelle. Queen Vic Vicky Michelle, Queen Vicky Michelle. Uh, another category on this final day. No more categories. We've had a win for Harry, two wins for Hugh, a win for Kerry. Today's winner is going down to a tie break between mm. Hugh and oh, Kerry. Oh, One oh, final. Is it an answer smash? One final answer smash. It's too tense. Okay. Fingers on buzzers, oh, please. If you buzz in and give me a correct answer, you'll be today's winner. If you buzz in and give me an incorrect answer, your opponent will be today's winner. OK? Here we go. Your category for your tie break is dog breeds. Oh, God. Dog breeds. Which <laughs> dog breeds do you see in the picture? Who played Baby in the 1987 film Dirty Dancing? Yes, Kerry. Jennifer Greyhound. Jennifer Greyhound is the correct answer. Jennifer Grey and Greyhound. <laughs> Very, very well played. <laughs> Jennifer Greyhound. Well played. Kerry, you've won another show. On double points final as well. Me. Uh, which prize would you like? I'm gonna I'm gonna take the dog jumper. Oh, the dog jumper. Kerry Godleyman wins the house against festive dog jumper. Congratulations, Kerry. But we have the small matter of our trophy to give away as well. What a week it has been. Thank you all so much. It's been an absolute treat spending this little weird interregnum period uh, with you all. I hope you've enjoyed it as well. But we have a winner to crown. And our champion on this festive week of House of Games is... Hugh Dennis by one point. <laughs> right. Hugh, congratulations. Well done. <laughs> Uh, there was some competition, weren't they? Ah, oh, it was great. That oh, it was great. Yeah. Could have been any of us, couldn't it? Could have been any of you. Thank you so much. It's been an absolute treat having you here, been an absolute treat having you watching as well. See you next time on the House of Games. <laughs>Better than your other trophy, Hugh. This, I can't actually remember what my other trophy was like, but it's like that. But, but is it like this? It's the but, one but, on your mantelpiece. Yeah. The one you keep in private place. Like anyway, Hugh, no one cares about the trophy. People only care about one thing. Ellie, Ellie, what's this? <laughs> what's this? Sit. Yes. Oh, cool. Yes. That's can the I, real trophy. Can I keep the dog?